Let us briefly look at Avogadro's hypothesis and the Boltzmann constant. So what exactly is Avogadro's hypothesis? Well, it essentially states that equal volumes of gases at the same exact pressure and temperature have equal number of molecules, have equal, equal number of atoms. So this can be readily seen from the ideal gas law which states that the product of the pressure and the volume of our system of gas is equal to N multiplied by R multiplied by T where N is the number of moles. R is our universal gas constant and T is the temperature given in kelvins. Now if we want to we can rearrange this equation and solve for N the number of moles. N is equal to PV divided by RT. Now equal volumes of gas at the same pressure and temperature so we have constant P, constant V, and constant T. And because R is constant, because R is exactly the same for any gas, that means this entire ratio is also constant for any gas that has the same volume, pressure, and temperature. So that means the number of moles is the same. Now recall that the number of molecules in one mole of gas is exactly the same and that means not only is the number of moles the same, the number of molecules is exactly the same as well. So once again, equal volumes of different gases at the same pressure and temperature have equal number of molecules and equal number of moles. Now, there is something called Avogadro's number, and Avogadro's number simply tells us how many molecules or atoms there are in a single mole of gas. So N subscript A, which is the Avogadro's number, is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms or molecules in every single mole. So let's suppose that we have the following container inside our container we have some given number of molecules. So if we have n number of molecules in our given system then we can determine the number of moles of gas in our system by using the following equation. We take the total number of molecules of gas in our system, we divide that by the number of molecules in any given mole, so we divide n by Avogadro's number Na and that gives us the number of moles of gas in our system that gives us n. So the ideal gas law can now be rewritten in the following format. So if we take this equation and combine it with this equation we get the following result. So we basically replace N with capital N divided by N subscript A. So N is replaced with this and we have the following rewritten ideal gas law. The pressure times the volume of our gas is equal to the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number multiplied by the gas constant multiplied by the temperature given in kelvins. Now, notice that our N, A, and the R are both constants. So let's combine our constants and let's write the equation in the following format. The pressure times the volume of our gas is equal to N times T multiplied by the ratio of the following two constants, R divided by N, A. So the ratio of two constants is equal to a constant. And this constant, R divided by N, A, is known as the Boltzmann constant and it's given the lowercase letter k. So we can rewrite this equation in the following format. P times V, the pressure times the volume, is equal to Boltzmann constant K multiplied by capital N, our number of molecules in our gaseous system, multiplied by T, our temperature given in Kelvin. 
Now, what exactly is the actual value of the Boltzmann constant K? Well, K is equal to the ratio of R divided by Na. Now, R is 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. And Na is simply Avogadro's number. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms or molecules in any given mole. So that means if we plug this into our our calculator we see that K Boltzmann constant is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules per Kelvin so let's look at the following example find the mass of an oxygen atom so to find the mass of an oxygen atom we have to use the periodic table if we look at the periodic table we'll see that in a single mole of oxygen there are 16 grams so 16 grams of oxygen are found in one mole so to calculate the number of grams in one atom of oxygen we have to do the following uh, multiplication so 16 grams per mole multiplied by 1 divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms in any single mole. So the mole goes on top and notice the moles will cancel and we're left with 2.66 times 10 to the negative 23 grams in any atom of oxygen.